another C70 rental for tomorrow's gig. Matching cameras always makes my life easier. Stepping out of the cafe because I just got a phone call from that UFC producer asking if I could be an AC and a B cam for potentially the next three weeks. So that came out of nowhere. It's insane how close these circles are that, that if you just get near them, you can have the potential to step into it. Now what's interesting is I also just got a phone call from the guy I worked with at the, the vlog I did about the golf course in Pittsburgh. There's another shoot in Montana the first week of November. So I'd like to do that as well. As a freelancer, self-employed contractor, all those things, it, you know, it's either feast or famine in the first six months. Uh, was definitely famine and right now I can't I can't like I look at my schedule and there's dots on every single day and I'm like how do I fit all of these cool jobs because one I do want to do the work to get paid two I want to work with each of these clients to open that network opportunity up some of these have big implications This is a biannual event. I filmed the first one a couple months ago, and once I finished and understood the scope and how many roles I was actually doing on site, I had to change the rate a little bit for this one. They accommodated for it, which is greatly appreciated, and essentially it's a mini conference now. I got this client from a colleague who referred me. Initially, we were just doing social media reels, and then as their company grew, they hosted this event. So my experience in the conference and corporate world was exactly what they needed. So it was a win-win for both of us. But the camera is set up. So C70 on sticks, saving battery on the monitor right now. But we have the Rode Filmmaker kit on top and then a second one in case there is a second speaker. Batteries are charged in the transmitters. And I really like this symmetrical frame. It looks good, nice and clean. And both cameras have DC power uh, powering them, but a battery in just in case. So the whole setup is good to go. So everything is set up and ready to go, but there is a last minute change. This is now the new location. So I need to bring everything in here and reset up. There will be speakers all day, so to put them in the best lighting, I gaff taped off a little area for them. And the main issue is trying to get light on them, but not on the screen. So this small panel has uh, some barn doors on it, and we put, or I put diffusion on it. And that has helped keeping some of the spill off of here. As far as this, um, the lantern comes with a skirt. So the skirt really, really helps to focus the light here, but still have soft, flattering light. And so far, uh, we had a little issue with uh, visibility on the stairs. So I just popped up the, the 60D to give a little light. This was initially slated for a two camera interview, a wide and a tight, but they switched the other camera to be strictly vertical. That content will go directly to Instagram reels. The wide camera will be for watching these sessions after the event, but they have placed so much more importance on the vertical angle. And it's good to know that as a video operator and someone just in the video world in general, this is what companies are finding value in. First on-site transfer going. It's gonna take quite a while since we're using a spinning hard drive. And uh, we basically filled up one 128 card and just a little bit left over onto this card. So we'll be transferring and then formatting, putting the cards back in, and ready to go for the rest of the speeches. Research your competitors. Us, personally, we did look up... I don't know of any other camera that can do this, but the C70 allows you to 
turn the on-screen display 90 degrees. So if you are filming vertical, you can actually change the entire display so that you can still read it vertical as well. It's extremely helpful. Transitioning to some quick testimonials, I bring the key light right out here in front of the step and repeat. And this is the equation I like to do for pretty much every single interview. I have the camera, and then to the side of that, the eye line, and then to the side of that is the key light. It creates some nice shape, and you can flip it if you want to, but just do not have the camera and key light on the same side of the eye line. That's the end of day one. I might cut the vlog here, but while I was filming today, I got multiple messages for new jobs that I am not available to take. First one was, can you do three days covering corporate work in San Diego next week? I had to say, sorry, I'm already booked. A couple minutes later, an email comes in, can you do a conference here in Orlando? Sorry, I'm already booked. So it really is feast or famine, at least for me. If you guys have the same uh, cycle, let me know because I feel like this is a pretty normal thing, especially as someone who's self-employed and is a contractor. You're always at the whim of whoever is hiring, what projects are happening, what season, what market, what industry. And uh, it's, it's very up and down, but when, in moments like this, I try to grab as much out of the air as possible, but for these these two jobs that were great jobs, I don't think I have the time. I don't think it would be a smart choice. So unfortunately can't take those. I pass them off to my friend who, um, you know, that's how the, the network works. One for him, one for me, and everybody wins.